Hey guys, it's Bear. It's Friday, December 18th. This is Life of T-Men, and um, this week's topic is transgender versus transsexual. I'm not sure if um, we were supposed to talk about our preference or define them or what. Like I said in previous videos, I don't actually watch the other guy's videos until after I do mine. So, um, you know, I figured that I would explain my take on it um, versus what I have seen other people, um, how they define it, and then tell you my preference or whatever. So, transgender versus transsexual. The word transsexual is a little bit outdated <clears throat> as far as, like, political correctness or whatever. Um, I feel like... Uh, it's just kind of become a little bit of a joke because of like Rocky Horror Picture Show and stuff and it's just not really as used now um, but that being said it's, it's still a valid word and I've seen it interpreted I've seen the difference between transgender and transsexual interpreted two different ways so um, the way I have seen it like online and stuff is that um, transgender is just like a definition of people who don't um, identify like unambiguously with the sex you know their anatomy um, and the the gender that they're assigned at birth uh, and they identify somewhere else so whether it's the complete opposite like me or like we've talked about in other videos like kind of non-binary or um, you know, gender fluid where you move back and forth between the two or, or so forth, it's a spectrum. Uh, whereas transsexual is defined more as uh, someone who identifies, again, not as the sex and gender that they're assigned uh, and f intends to do a full transition from one to the other. So like what I'm doing, like medical and social and legal transition. Um, I don't agree with that at all. Um, the way I interpret the two is just by their actual definitions. If you look up the actual words, uh, transsexual is a noun, which is a person, place, or thing, and transgender is an adjective, which is a word that describes something. So. I'm definitely not, you know, an expert on this. I don't, um, I haven't done tons of research on it. Like I said, I just looked up the words for, uh, lectures I've done. I've spoken a couple times at a friend's class, um, at, at DePaul in Chicago. And so I had to look up the words and that's what I found as the actual definitions. So, you know, I think socially they definitely have different connotations but um, I'm a little bit more literal than that. So to break it down, um, a noun is, a, like I said, a person, place, or thing. So, you know, uh, you are a human. You are, you know, um, a male. And you are a transsexual. Uh, or you are... Yeah, I'll get into that in a second. Um, whereas an adjective is a word that describes something. So, you know, like um, fuzzy, uh, purple, you know, um, skinny, black, and transgender. They're all words that describe something else. So, in this case, I am a transgender male. Uh, I am a male who happens to be transgender. The word transgender describes me. It tells you something about me. So, um, you know, just the same as I am a white male. It, it describes me. Um, so you wouldn't say, like, I am a transgender. I've heard people actually say that. Um, it's just not correct grammar. It's a little bit rude as well. It's kind of like saying, you know, you are a black um, it's just, it's just not quite right, and it's kind of rude. Um, uh, you, uh, you would say, like, you know, um, Bear is a transsexual, you know, or you would say Bear is a transgender male. Um, 
that's how I interpret it, that's how I prefer to say it. I use both terms to describe myself, or, you know, in reference to myself, I will say, like, um, yes, I am transsexual, uh, or I will say, you know, yeah, um, I am transgender. Um, again, like I said, you know, things just sort of shift and change with use and as they become sort of like slurs and stuff like that. So I can see where other people are using it slightly differently. Um, but that's, that's my interpretation. I know that plenty of people see it, see it differently and disagree with me, but that's, uh, that's our topic for the week. That's my take on it. And it's a pretty simple cut and dry thing as far as I'm concerned. So thanks for listening, you guys, and see you next week.